offers the most advanced non-surgical cosmetic treatments available today. It's now possible to achieve surgery-like results for facelift, tummy tuck, and breast lift in just one hour. The best part is it's pain-free, no downtime, and it's a fraction of the cost of painful surgery. You can also treat your double chin, cellulites, back fat, and more. Look it, feel it, Livette. Call now, 674-5015, and come in for free assessment. Livette, perfect health discovered. Natural boost, ginger line and turmeric. Give away every sickness. sickness. Get a bottle of this orange spice. Spanish. And a healthy choice in your life. Mm-hmm. And let me drink up the drink of the juice. And let me drink up the thing from the roots. And let me drink up the thing from the fruits. The you juice. The you juice. And root to the ultimate you. Share the line. Share the line. The Street 919 FM on Facebook and Instagram. Share the line. Iowa George on Instagram. Share the line. Iowa TV and Street Street TV on YouTube. Share the line. The Street 919 FM. All right. Good morning, Sean and Tobago again. So I have Dr. Levett in studio with me. And Dr. Levett again to go across there a little bit. Yeah. All right. Right, you can see me? Yeah, yeah. once they can see you, that's what I want to do. Yes, sure. good morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and those of you who are viewing us on Facebook as well as YouTube. Um, it's great to be here. This is Reset with Dr. Levat, and it's always my pleasure to be here with you and Pastor Google to help to get you the latest information as it pertains to health and wellness. Today's show is a riddle to start with which is what burns without a fire. And the answer is acid. Acid burns, as we know, because if you put muriatic, muriatic acid, which is the exact same thing as hydrochloric acid, which we know as stomach acid, on your hand, it will burn a hole in your hand. In fact, if we were to take the stomach acid from your stomach and put that acid on, on your hand as well, it burns. And the reason why your stomach doesn't burn, unless you have acid reflux, which we're going to talk about today, um, unless that happens, or the reason why it does not happen is because you have a, muc- a mucus lining inside of the stomach that protects it. So that's the function of mucus actually. And so that prevents you from getting an ulcer. Now, the pH of your stomach changes or adapts based on your diet. So if you're having a lot of alkalizing foods, the stomach, the pH of your stomach, which is about 3.5 to 4, neutral is 7 on the pH scale. 6 is still very acidic, but we need acid to break down food. Sometimes we bad talk acid as if acid is a very bad thing, but, but without enough acid, you can't break down your foods. And so what starts off first is indigestion. So what is indigestion? Indigestion is if you eat something, I'm not sure if you ever ate something, Pastor Google, or maybe you know somebody who did. And then later on in the day, you're still belching the the food. And so what happens is your body didn't break down the food so that it stays on the stomach longer than it should stay. And so that can cause heartburn or that feeling as if you have this burning happening. Nothing, no disease starts off from zero and goes to 100. And that's why doing a holistic health assessment is so important. If you have a symptom, don't ignore the symptom, right? So it starts off as a mild burn and indigestion. And so that's an indication of two things. One, the types of food that you're eating. By the way, we have such a thing as plastic rice. I'm sure you heard of this before. And someone in Trinidad, a couple of years ago, I remember, they did a video 
with them um, heating the rice and the rice actually melted in Trinidad. There's such a thing as plastic pasta. I wish what I'm saying is, <laughs> is not true. But we have so much unscrupulous people, Pastor Google, in this food industry. It is scary. It is scary. So when you eat foods, forget the fact that the food might be too acidic, but when you eat foods that are really over-processed to the point where it's plastic, how is it going to be digested by your stomach acid? And so you have to also have some kind of body wisdom about yourself to know if I eat something by this place I buy the food from, and it didn't sit well with me, then don't go back by the same place and buy food again. Or if you buy something in a supermarket, some brand of whatever rice or whatever it might be, and it did make you feel good, don't buy it again. It's just simple things, just, you know. So when you ignore these things and you eat food that are too acidic, so now when we eat meat or dairy, the stomach acid drops down to two because these things require more stomach acid to break it down. Some people we say they have an iron belly or, or an alligator belly because they can eat what they want and uh, do get sick. And then some people, any little thing making them sick. And the difference in that scenario is the, how strong the person's stomach acid is because the function of acid is to kill a virus, bacteria, and people who have acid reflux may also have something called H. pylori, which is a bacteria that is very rampant from street vendors and uh, deformed fecal matter in many of the places that sell street food, not to say all street food is bad. I'm just saying, if you buy food by somebody and get sick, then the, one of the reasons might be is because they didn't have proper hygiene and there was fecal matter found in different foods. I wouldn't call them because I don't want to affect anybody's business, but different street foods, um, they found fecal matter in it and, uh, and H. pylori was present. So we have a, a lot of issues with this H. pylori. And then if you take antibiotics for H. pylori, and then they go back to the same food that we have given it to you, then it comes back again. And so that's a problem you keep reinfecting yourself. If you have strong stomach acid, it will kill H. pylori. So it doesn't affect everybody, right? So you have to know yourself and have to ask yourself the question, if you're having these symptoms, where is it coming from? Diseases don't come from the sky. It comes from what you put into your mouth. And that, those, those decisions that, that you make, you know, really affect your health. So I want to talk about something today that, that nobody, well, not much people talk about, um, which is there's something else. In addition to bile, to acid reflux, there's something called bile reflux. And before I get a bile reflux, I just want to talk about acid reflux. We have something called a sprinter. We have two valves. So the stomach, I wish I had a chart, but the stomach, which is on your left, which is on your left side of your body, sits below your heart, right? And the stomach, the food goes down your esophagus, it goes into your stomach. At the bottom of the esophagus, there's a valve. And when you eat, it triggers the valve to open, so the food goes from the esophagus into your stomach. That valve is called the lower esophageal sprinter. And if the valve malfunctions and stays open after you eat, now the acid have a, way, have a pathway to go up the esophagus and cause good. Right? But there's another thing that happens too. Sometimes both happens at the same time because the other valve that can cause that is a pile, it's called a py pyloric valve that is basically from the small intestine now, which is at the bottom. So, this, so the, the, the top of the, the stomach has the lower esophageal valve and the bottom has the pyloric valve. And that pyloric valve blocks bile from coming into the stomach. And then the other valve not working goes up into the esophagus. <clears throat> And that also causes symptoms of acid reflux. Now bear in mind, bile is an alkalizing substance. So you would think that an alkalizing substance would not cause problems. But remember, the environment, the natural environment that your stomach has to be is acidic. 
So that can also cause issues because it changes the pH of the stomach and the esophagus. And by the way, of course, once it hits the esophagus, once it hits the esophagus, then the esophagus is not supposed to have anything going this way. <laughs> it's supposed to only have food going this way. And it doesn't want anything coming in there and changing the environment. And these symptoms could cause things like heartburn, and you feel as if something wrong with your heart too. So these all are very difficult things for uh, the medical community in many ways to fully diagnose. Is it bile reflux? Is it acid reflux? They may need to do our endoscopy to look and see what's happening. But, you know, the, the bottom line is we have to stay away from acidic foods. Now, this is where chemistry comes in and understanding chemistry. So we have a juice called you juice. I want to use my juice as an example today. The juice has citric acid in it because it has vitamin C. We have lemons in there. Lemons has citric acid. And so I want to talk also about... about uh, uh, Apple cider, apple cider vinegar, which is very acid. And apple cider vinegar, some people will see that it helped them with their acid reflux. The reason why they said that is because the acid is not enough to break down the foods, and that's the reason why you have acid reflux. So then because they take an acid sub substance like apple cider vinegar or you juice, which is also acid, it may give relief. Now, if the degree of disease is too far gone, then it's not going to work because now you have ulcers. So now anything acidic will agitate the ulcers. I hope I've been clear now. So we're talking about degree of disease now. So if we take something that is alkaline like baking soda and we mix baking soda in water and we drink it, we're going to get relief because it is alkalizing. But it's not going to fix the problem. Just like in the world of medicine, they give you proton pump inhibitors, which inhibits the stomach from making the acid. These are ways you're trying to, you know, in one way or the other, trying to control this acid because it burns like fire. It's not a nice feeling. I never felt it myself, at least not to the extreme that some of my patients have anyway. So, so right, so that's why. You have to understand the degree of disease because now the remedy has to come from a place of understanding the degree of disease. And so treating yourself for diseases may not necessarily be the best approach because you may hear, okay, apple cider vinegar is good, ginger is good, turmeric might be good, but turmeric may have an acid base and because your degree of disease is so far gone, it may not be beneficial to you. And then what do you do? So I have the unique experience of doing liver, gallbladder flushes for many, many years now, for over 10 years. And I've had many of my clients who came in with acid reflux symptoms, with many with varying degrees of acid reflux. And I had clients that were so bad that they couldn't even lie down on their back because the, you know, the acid would run up the esophagus. So they have to sleep on an angle to keep, because remember the valve open is not supposed to be open. So when they lie down now, the acid from the stomach going back up in the esophagus. And so we had to do liver gallbladder flushes. When we do liver gallbladder flushes, we eliminate the possibility that it may also be bile reflux in addition to acid reflux. And in 90% of cases, we were able to solve it by doing a liver gallbladder flush. Permanently, in many cases, acid reflux. By its, now again, this is based on degree of disease. And this is just in my experience now looking at, at, looking at this stuff. Some people are so bad, I have to take a different approach with them. And so now we do things like slip, slippery elm bark, which helps to coat the lining and give some symptomatic relief. The multi-ultra cleanse is the cleanse that we have that works because it cleans the liver, kidney, spleen, lymphatic system, blood, parasites, blah, blah, blah. Then probiotic kefir is also important, and that is also acidic. But depending on the degree of your disease, Probiotic kefir is, is brilliant, and many people just like similar to apple cider vinegar, although vinegar is more acidic than probiotic kefir or you juice. So I'm only bringing this up because I want to give you all a, uh, an idea of the different ways that we could treat with acid reflux. Now, the proton pump inhibitors, which, are, which is a medical treatment, or you may take Nexium or other things that are bake, baking soda based is alkalizing, should never be a long-term treatment for acid reflux because 
the more you use it, it's, yes, it gives you relief, but it, everything it comes with side effects, unfortunately, and, uh, you know, the side effects are not, is, is, I would say the main side effect is the fact that you're not breaking down your food. So going back to was the function of stomach acid. The function of stomach acid, which has peptin, helps you to break down protein, helps you to break down your food. So when we inhibit, right, with proton pump inhibitors, when we inhibit the amount of stomach acid that's being made, what you're doing, in fact, is limiting the body's ability to break down the food and to help you to assimilate the vitamin or minerals or whatever else is in this food, the proteins and so on. So it's not really a good approach when you do that for long term because then you have to figure out, well, if I'm not absorbing these minerals, then what deficiencies are going to happen over time? So it's always best. It's good in the interim because you want to get quick relief. But, uh, you know, we always get to the root cause of the condition. Part of it is diet. You shouldn't have coffee. It's very acidic, too, by the way. We eat too much acidic foods, white rice, white flour, white potato. Everything we eat is acid, unfortunately. And then the alkalizing things like the greens, patchouli, bodhi, string beans. Okra is very good for acid reflux because it helps, the, it helps to coat the lining, too. L-glutamine is important to heal ulcers from acid reflux. So these are the things that we do in addition to fasting, intermittent fasting and fasting is extremely beneficial because it helps you to, it gives your body a rest so that wherever there's rest, there is repair. We know that because when we tired and we sleep, we wake up feeling better. But when we eat all the time, we are going to agitate the situation because now you're, now you're triggering a process that has to go start with stomach acid, then bile, and then enzymes being also produced in the pancreas to break down fats, proteins, and carbs. And so even if you eat one grain of nuts, which is also acidic, all these processes have to happen in your body. And so we have to ask ourselves, how do we move forward in a way that includes more alkalizing foods? We would also need, what su there's a supplement called bethane um, hydrochloric acid with peptin, which I've also used. Even that, if the person is too far gone, meaning that the degree of disease is too far, then that may also agitate. So it becomes a very tricky thing to treat. Um, but we have been able to treat it successfully. And we work with wherever you are, bearing in mind that my objective is, is to make sure that you don't run any deficiencies. Because if you run deficiencies, like any, anything, I mean, do you know that, that for example, Vitamin D, which, uh, which you should know by now, because we've been talking about this now for how long, Pastor Google? I don't know. Forever, it seems. Vitamin D is the most important vitamin. I don't know that any other one is. For your immune system, to reduce the risk of your most life-threatening diseases, which is cancer and cardiovascular disease, are both benefit the most from vitamin D. And vitamin D cannot be broken down without bile. In fact, no fat-soluble vitamin could be broken down without bile, which all your fat-soluble vitamins, of course, is vitamin A, D, E, and K. And without vitamin K, we can't clot. So that's a clotting factor that can make you bleed too much on your cycle, for example. So women who bleed too much on your cycle may also have a vitamin K deficiency. There's so many little things that we have to understand when we do a functional blood chemistry assessment we look at your standard blood chemistry, and then we figure out, based on that, how are we going to now bring you from where you are in terms of whatever deficiencies to become insufficient? How do we get you to break down the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that you need so that you can assimilate, you with me? You can assimilate the key vitamins that you need to prevent future lifestyle diseases. Because we are in the disease prevention business, and you should be in the disease pre prevention business too, by the way. But you have to kind of work with your knife and fork and make the best decisions when you go to those supermarkets to say, well, I'm going to buy this food for me for the week. And so these are the things you have to think about. What is the pH of your food? Is it, am I eating too much acidic foods? If you're too acidic, this, that's one of the reasons why the valve do, doesn't close. If your food, if your diet is too acidic. Because remember, is, is a muscle, eh? so muscles contract and relax. And the relaxation part of it 
is as important as the part that triggers it to open. So a lot of different things are important. We saw that vitamin D in a study also helped that sprinter muscle to basically contract or to close. We saw that bestein hydrochloric acid also triggered this closing of the sprinter. And so these are the things that we have to understand if we have a disease, if we have a burn and we're trying to get rid of the burn um, to help us to, to be to not suffer indigestion, which is how it starts off, and then later on, acid reflux. So, um, before we go to the break, I think, where do I have my phone, Lord? I need to give you all some. We brought on some new stores, and I need to announce those new stores. And we want to take your calls when we come back after. Um, when we come back after the the, 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 the break is coming up in... Right right now okay so let's I'll, I'll actually announce all the new stores that you use is available after the break and stay tuned we will be right back all right trying to be three coming back after the break you could take it easy for me. And let me drink up the thing from the roots And let me drink up the thing from the fruits The you juice En route to the ultimate you Looking for extra cleaning power, color retention, and long-lasting freshness? Meet Ozon's Powder Detergent with Power Active Formula The Power of Ozon Catch these extra foods plenty for 20 Super Lenten specials. Domino vanilla cookies, 16 for $20. Trick cereal boxes, 10 for $20. Orchard drinks assorted, 12 for $20. Creamery mini cup ice creams, 5 for $20. Mayflower tuna flakes, 4 for $20. Trinidad fresh assorted, 6 for $20. And Catelli ketchup Econo pack, 5 for $20. So many great 90 for 20 specials. And sale lasts for 10 days only. February 26th to March 7th. Extra foods. Always extra for less. Hey guys, it's Aisha Wells here. Listen up. If you're considering selling or renting your house in Trinidad and Tobago, then call Keelan George with O'Neill's Real Estate Group. He's a good friend of mine and he's been in the business for over six years. First, selling real estate in Atlanta, Georgia, and now right here in Trinidad and Tobago. He has a strategic online marketing presence that actually attracts thousands of home buyers and renters. Plus, with his home selling advice and techniques, he's getting homes sold really fast. Keelan will actually guarantee you sell your home or, get this, you can cancel the listing agreement and pay nothing at any time. That's right, you heard me, nothing at any time. Selling your home doesn't have to be stressful, people. Check out www.oneilrealestatet.com. O'Neill is spelled O-N-E-I-L, or just call Kilon direct at 363-4030. That's 363-4030. Turn your lights down low and listen to the master's radio. The Church of the Firstborn Assembly Miracle Center of 399 Eastern Main Road, Waiko in Sangre Grande is pleased to present Pastor Morris and Agnes Johnson and guests on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays here on the Street 919 FM. The Ministry of Worship Children's Hour and the Word is on Sundays from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. On Tuesdays from 9 p.m. to midnight, see Jesus in every book of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And on Wednesdays from 9 p.m. to midnight, where we deal with current affairs from a biblical perspective. Tell your neighbors, tell your friends, tell everyone. For further information, visit us at www.churchofthefirstbornassembly.org or find us on Facebook. Email us at church668hope at gmail.com or call us at 753-1113 or 236-7271. Your free will gifts and offerings will be greatly appreciated. First Citizens Bank, account number 795222. Turn your radio 
Royal Castle happily presents our New Year giveaway. When you buy a family meal, you could be in to win some happiness. A kitchen appliance combo of a new stove, fridge, and microwave. Whoa! A living room set, a washer-dryer combo, or a dining room set. Other goodies include Samsung Smart TVs, grocery vouchers, or one of 20 tablets. Just write your info on your bill and slip it into the entry box in store. It's easy to win with our New Year giveaway. Share the line. Share the line. The Street 919 FM on Facebook and Instagram. Share the line. Iowa George on Instagram. Share the line. Iowa TV and Street Street TV on YouTube. Share the line. The Street 919 FM. All right, Trinidad Domingo, so we're back with you. Dr. Livet is here on the Street 919 FM. Um, live healthy. Live to Dr. Livet. All right. Um, we're talking about acid reflux and we're talking about um, how to deal with acid reflux and stuff like that. And I know that there are some people who are ready to ask their questions. If you want, you could ask your questions on Facebook by typing in the Street 919 FM Facebook page and also on YouTube by typing in Iowa TV on YouTube and you would be able to ask Dr. Levert the questions that you would want answered. Yeah. All right? Um, of course, we're going to take calls as well, right? Yeah, so we're going to take some. Call? Yeah, we're going to take some calls. Number to call at 342 342-0081-771-1791, 771-1791. And four six six five three nine one. We have a call on the line. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning, caller. Yes, good morning. Um, Pastor Google and Dr. Levert. Yes. Um good Dr. Levert, I also heard that you mixed in the banana and the oat with with your almond milk. I heard that is also acidic, mixed in the banana with the oat. Um, fast and reflux to me or just generally speaking? Generally speaking. Yeah, I, speaking, it's acidic. I heard it's acidic, very acidic. I wouldn't say it's very acidic. I, I wouldn't say it's very acidic, no. Oats, oh. oats has protein in it, ap, 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 you know, apart from the fiber. So oats is acidic, but not very acidic. Okay, well, I'm feeling a little happy, you know, because I was wondering what next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but remember, if you're, if, you're, if you're consuming a food and you have indigestion, as I said, you have to listen to your body because... Anybody can say anything, right? But it's what is what works for you at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So you have yeah. to know how your body, how you feel when you eat something or not, regardless of what even me say. You know what I mean? So oh, okay, all right. all right, okay, take okay. care. Yeah, all right, thanks. All right, thanks for calling. All mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. I just want to shout out um, Mid Time Pharmacy, the fully endorsed you juice. We now available at that uh, uh, pharmacy. We are also available at SS Prasad. Uh, we started off at Prasad the Food King on the two outlets, Point Fortin Main Road, opposite Scotia Bank, and Bright Ideas, uh, Rio Claro Junction, New Grand, and Marabella up, uh, opposite the market, right? So we're in Prasad the Food King. I want to, of course, um, say go out and support them. <coughs> we recently in Anna and Locos as well. This is Tropical Plaza, Point Up here. And Ains, Ainsbury Supermarket, Charliesville, Main Road as well. So we're getting a lot of stores coming on in the Southland. So go and support Get You Juice. It is the healthiest drink available on the market today with the least amount of sugar of any juice that actually helps the ginger lime drink. To, and many people said that helped to regularize their, their sugar. And um, again, if it works for you, you have to check to see how it works for you, right? You have a call online. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning, Pastor Google. Hi, good morning. I'm calling from, I'm calling, I'm Dr. Levert, sorry. Good, good I'm morning. calling from New York. New York. And, um, yes, and I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if there's any way we can get juice up here. And also, I tried to get to speak with Dr. Levert at his office, and the guy took my name, my number, and he said they would get in touch with me, but nobody ever did. All right, so I have to I have to look into that. What's your name? Diane Potan. Okay. All right then. And um, is there any way we could, we could get the juice up here? The juice where? Sorry, where? In where? New York. 
in New, New York. York. New York. We are um, within, I would say within two weeks, I'll be able to ship to you di directly. So Very good, thank you. All right, okay, take care. Uh, somebody's asking on Facebook, on, yeah, on Facebook, good morning, Pastor Google and Dr. Levert, I would like some advice on fasting, please. Someone else is asking Pastor Google and Dr. Levert, what can use, what can be used for blood pressure? All right, so the first question is fasting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have over 20 years experience, experience fasting and 10 years observing patients fasting. Fasting should always be done followed by a holistic health assessment of sorts, checking your blood work, checking to see where your, where your blood pressure is, where your blood sugar is, because you shouldn't fast just like that, if you're, you know, because I had a client who fasted once. He was hypoglycemic, young guy. He didn't even know he was hypoglycemic, which means he had low sugar, mm -hmm. and he passed out fasting. You know, so it's important to see, to check where you are before you fast. Yeah, so that's the best advice I can give. My website does have information about fasting as well, so you can visit liveathealth.com. All right, let's take this call. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. I, I am um, Dawson, Dr. Levin. Hi, All good right. morning. Where are, you, where are you calling from? Laventil. All right. You visit Dr. Levet? Yes. And you were satisfied with the service that you got? Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Thomas. Mr. Thomas. Why Thomas? All right. Okay. Thank you for calling. What What benefit did you experience? Do you want to share? Hello? Well, yeah. Um, I, I suffer with sugar and, um, pressure. Mm hmm And I'll get a little release. Right, so and hemorrhoids. And yeah. hemorrhoids, okay. All right, well, thanks so much for sharing. I'm, I'm always yeah. happy to help, yeah? All right, okay. <laughs> All I wish right. I could help everybody and God give you health and strength to see everybody get better. All right. Thank, thank you so much for calling. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. It's 342 0081. 342 0081. 771 171 4669 What is that quick relief for um, acid reflux? Somebody who sleeping in the night and if you're getting acid reflux and you jump up vomiting. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. Do you, what is that quick um, relief for? Quick that? relief is baking soda. It will help when you're burning. Because again, it's. Too, it's too much acid, so the literally the baking soda is gonna give it the, 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 the quickest relief. Okay, hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi, morning. Good morning. Yes, Doctor Levitt. But yes. I buying the U juice. Well, we started buying this thing by the case now. Right. So we find we drinking it out plenty. At, every time I pass by the fridge, I drinking this thing. I drink. <laughs> when we do so, the case done in two days, same as she, but we drink all this thing too fast, boy. You got to take your time with it. Oh, God. It's kind right? of I even have um, a brethren in, in Canada who want to get it. Yeah. He we... does listen to you, Mr. Yeah. Joseph, in Canada. Oh. Want some. Okay, we're going to start shipping out to the U.S. and Canada and the U.K. as early as the next, as early as actually next week. So, okay. um, on from the website, you'll you'll be able to order directly from the website in about two to three weeks. But we can do phone orders for now, as early yeah. as next week. We got it in, in um, Grand you know, we just go to the um, she just go to the new um, go street that open there. <clears throat> Extra foods. Extra food, right? She just go for that. Just just to get that alone, she just go there. Yes. Well, how is it working for you guys? How does it help? Well, I think I call in properly. <laughs> As she go out today, she go to look for a case again. All right. Well, we appreciate but this case, I go dismiss so quick, eh? We take every time with this one. Yes, yes, yes. Don't, don't drink it right? too fast. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't want this case dismissed at all. We want this case to stay a little while. All right. All right, then. All right, thanks. Take care. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So people from Grandy is getting their U juice. The U juice, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have a lot of you. We have a lot of U juicers now everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So you need to start a print U juicers T-shirt. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> All 
<laughs> All right. We need to print some t shirts and I'm a YouTube sign. Yeah, I'm a YouTube sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Um so you see in a quick response for acid flux stomach. It's on baking soda. If you do have baking soda at home. Well, most the reason why I say baking soda is because most people have baking soda in the house for some reason. Because other than that, then I go to the pharmacy and buy some antacid. So you may give a sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the, uh, that's the other option. Uh, if, if it's in the night, then it's not necessary to do it. If there's mm. no baking soda, then you have a pharmacy. Mm. <laughs> um, if you get slippery and back in a pharmacy, too, that helps. Slippery and back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, All right. uh -huh. and there's a local herb called DTP that I've heard people say benefits acid reflux as well. I can't say that I use it and know for myself, but I've I've had people say that it works. So, and of course that's something even harder to find because most of these herbs they're go in you know rural areas to find it. But you know that some people believe that um. That acid reflux thing is based on eating late in the night and what they eat and stuff yeah, like well, that. Yeah, too much acid stuff. Rice, flour. When I was 300 plus pounds, I used to eat, I'm going to tell you my dad, eh? I used to eat eggs or sausages, bread in the morning, which is all acid. And I used to, of course, we fry the eggs and the sausages. So then for lunch, I was having rice, peas, chicken, all acid. Then for dinner, because I used to work at late hours, eh? so sometimes in the night, I, you know, I work in all till 12 in the night, so I used to go buy a burger, man. Again, I said, so, so I, so I didn't have burger, flour, and meat. So that is three times a day, my meal was acidic. And when I start to feel that burn, again, mine was next stream. And when I start to feel that burn so fast, I Google, I find I help book so fast, eh? <laughs> I started to say, well, I start to research. In Hello, good days, morning. Hi, morning. Morning, Mr. Um, Dr. Eugene. Yes, good, good um, morning. You know, that you just could help you with com um, how to call it compensation when you're not going off as regular. Constipation. If it's, yeah. Yes, I've had people say, a lot of people say actually that the Eugene's Jones Lime helps them to go off, but if somebody's very constipated, then they need stronger things like a scar, sagrada, senna. So the multi ultra cleanse, I recommend that because it gives you all the other things, right? So while the juice has so many benefits, but it depends on how bad your constipation is. And then constipation is primarily caused by dehydration, by not drinking, drinking enough water. So if you're dehydrated, then you juice would not help because the primary cause of it is dehydration. And then the other reason is if you don't have enough fiber in your diet. So the you juice doesn't solve those things. So, but it does cause you to have a mild detox. Yeah? Okay. All right. Thanks very much for your cooperation. And you say um, in San Fernando you're getting it at, at um, um. You're not point up here, right? Point up here, you know where um across you from Petrochin, where the refinery, you can get it there. You can get it by Bright Ideas. That is by the market across the road from the market, and you oh, can. Get... Street? No, 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 no. Marbella Market. Okay. You know where Marbella yeah. Market is? Union Road. Yeah, I know Marbella Market is. Right. I know Marbella Market is. Right. But um, TJ's um, not not TJ's, not the grocery um, um, some grocery Chinese grocery there on the cross crossing. GTA. They still have it at GTA? GTA, yes. Yes. Well, they're getting cases there also. You won't get a case there, but you can buy a case direct from us if you like. If you call 674-5015, we can also supply our WhatsApp that number as well. 674-5015. Yeah? Well, I am... Um, do I know what something? Um, yeah, just call, just I, call. Just call the number, 674-5015. Yeah, have somebody um, here right now, actually, if you if you like, because we are... And they will deliver it? Yes, yes. There's free delivery in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah? Okay, all right. Thanks very much. All right, take care. All right, so, of course, if you have acid reflux or need to do a detox or need to check to see where you are with your health, do our functional um, blood analysis or blood assessment using... We work with QF Medical Lab. They have an office at our office. Give us a call, 674-5015. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Pastor Google and Dr. Olivet. Yes, good morning. 
You, you want to reduce him for the spin? Yes, um, we we are, we're not Dong Tong Port of Spain, but we are in um, we kind of like in in Maraval and we in Saint Anne's in Massey. We in all the Massies on the west side and True Value. That's the easiest places, and of course we could deliver to you as well as little as six as little as six bottles. Then we could do delivery as well, and we offer free delivery. So you can also give us a call as well if you don't see it. Yeah. You say you say Saint Anne's and Marvel. What's that? Saint Anne's and Marvel. We in Saint Anne's. If you only in Saint Anne's and Marvel. Yes, and Marvel Massey. Yes. All right, thank you. All, All right, right thank sir, you. thanks. All right, that's like to wrap to up. Wrap up huh? yeah. yeah. So, of course, I want to thank you all for listening today. I hope the information helped you, and share the information, right? Because other people may, may be suffering. Share the live. And, um, and you know, you, you never know who may be listening and who needs to hear this, this information today. So, I want to thank you again. Give us a call, 674-5015. And as you always say, live mighty, live healthy, live at. All right, Trinidad Amigo, so you want to thank Dr. Levet for being with us today. Stick and stay. Boost, change your line and turn a rick, turn a rick. Give away every sickness. sickness. Get a bottle of this a real spice. Sorry, spice. And it's a healthy choice in your life. Mm. And let me drink up the drink up the juice. And let me drink up the thing from the roots. And let me drink up the thing from the fruits. The you juice. 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 And root to the ultimate you. Natural boost, change your line and turn a rick, turn a rick. Give away every sickness. sickness, get a bottle of this a real spice. Sorry, spice. And it's a healthy choice in your life. Mm. And let me drink up the drink up the juice. And let me drink up the thing from the roots. And let me drink up the thing from the fruits. The you juice, juice, juice. and root to the ultimate you. Just send faith.